this is day two of psychopathy. You're all going to need your PDF note-taking guide to start filling in the rest of your notes um, for this unit. So the first thing we're going to talk about are some of the core features of psychopathy. So remember, all psychopaths have some behaviors and characteristics in common. So that's what we're going to be looking at is some of the things on that list. So um, first of all, uh, those who seek momentary gratification. So psychopaths, they want what they want and they don't want to wait for it. They don't like waiting. Um, they tend to not feel empathy, guilt, or remorse. So they do all these terrible things and they don't feel bad about it. And we know that because they keep doing them over and over and over. <laughs> They're really good at <laughs> manipulation. <laughs> and getting others to do basically anything they want them to do. Um, They're also very, very good at faking emotions uh, because they don't have any actual emotions. They can fake sadness or excitement um, or happiness, something that normal people don't have problems doing. Um, psychopaths also are uh, really good at faking it. They tend to not follow the rules of society um, and not do um, what you would expect them to do normally. All right, so your next big topic is the Golden Triangle, also called McDonald's Triangle. And there are three components to this, and they are? Bedwetting. Yes. Animal cruelty. Animal cruelty and? Fire setting. Fire setting. Yeah. Okay, so this isn't like your normal little kids having accidents in the bed kind of thing. This is excessive bedwetting until like 10, 10 11, 11, 12 yeah. years old kind of thing. Um, same thing with fire setting. This isn't the same thing if you, if you go out and you burn ants with a magnifying glass or you set your school ID tag on fire or something like that. This is again setting fires with the intent to hurt. This is your pyros. <laughs> right, your pyros. your pyros. They want to hurt people. <laughs> they want to hurt property. Um, you want to talk about animal cruelty? Sure. So animal cruelty, <laughs> this is um, when you like to harm maliciously cute little furry animals. I just don't understand. Super sad. Super, super sad. So not the same thing as, again, disciplining Splitting. your pet or something like that. This is harming animals with the intent of there's a there's a torture, torture. element kind of yeah. there so that's the difference so these are the three components of mcdonald's triangle this has nothing to do with psychopathy it is only a tool used to predict future violent behavior so children who exhibit these three or a combination of these these three behaviors are more likely to be violent, violent. adults <laughs> Dr. Robert Hare, who was an experimental psychologist and cognitive psychologist. Uh, cognitive is like the way your brain works and how you think. Um, he was an influential research person um, over the past 50 years, and he developed the psychopathy checklist, which we will talk about next day, next class. Right. So he literally wrote the book on how to diagnose a psychopath. So, the PCL is a tool used to diagnose psychopathy in people. Now, this is not something you can go on the internet and find. This is a clinical tool that you can only find with like a licensed cool. professional. Yeah. yeah. Um, they are, it's a score between 0 and 40. If you get 30 plus, you are diagnosed as a psychopath. And there are different parts of the test where you're rated on a 0 to 2. And we will take a little bit of that test. Later see on. later on <laughs> see where you are see if we need to watch you and worry about you good so all of these um, categories there's 20 categories so you get a zero a one or a two so if you get a two in all 20 categories you get a 40 you get a 40 that's the max and you are a psychopath officially last time we looked at a child psychopath Beth Thomas and today we're going to do a case study on Tommy Lynn Sells. He is an adult psychopath that scores just really, really high yeah. on the scale. Um, so the same thing. You'll have your PDF of your notes. 
there's a little box for you to take your observations. So what kinds of observations are we looking for? Um, kind of the movement with his hands, if he's fidgety, uh, if he can look at the camera, kind of the way his language is, if he seems really smart or if it's broken. Um, Perfect. Um, also, any like uh, quotes that stand out to you or awful things that he's, he's done that normal people don't do? Maybe his nickname? Yeah. They do have a nickname for us that too. So, um, that is your task for today. Enjoy the video and we'll see you again for next day time. Three. Yeah, day three.